no, 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 I'm not sad, sad about that. You know, he just shows up now because you know what? The NBA season is thriving and we doing our thing. And he said, I feel alone. I need some attention. That's why Dan Olofsky's here this morning, okay? Sitting in my seat. I don't think he feels seat. alone. He has like eight kids, but yeah, that's I don't, okay. I, I don't think he I'm ever feels alone. I'm here this morning because I'm flying this afternoon, so it made sense to be in oh, New York. Hold, 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 Vacation hold on, what's or up work? With, what's, up, what's up with the shirt being open, Mr. Chippendales? What's up with that? This first I mean, take, what the hell's going on? What the hell is going like on? The old person that you are. I'm young. I'm I'm athletically fit, so I can show a little chest. It's freshly oh. shaved. So oh, freshly athletically shaved. fit. Oh is that God. what you just said? A little said? too much information. You just said is athletically fit. Is this vacation fit? or work trip? Uh, uh, family. Yeah, hang out. Like fun. Yeah, not work. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. we're going. To Looks go like you got friends. a tan. Looks like you got a tan. How did you get there in the, in the, in the baggage level area and stuff like that? Because we know you didn't want to pay for any seats. We are not right? flying first class today, correct. We are all flying in seat 19. Why would 19. you not do that with all the money you make? You're going to come. He's so cheap. You and Stephen A, you and Stephen A think I make way more money than I do. I have six family members. You played. You, you're all over this uh, network. Yeah. I mean, you're not making peanuts. Stop, please. But I'm not making, you making Stephen, Stephen A, a money? Dog. Maybe not. But you may you done you done nicely. Put him in first class. He's fifty five. Yeah. You know 55, what? I might. Put Maybe him in first if class. he made Aaron Rodgers money, you would fly first yeah. class. Put my kids in first class. Okay, that's I've done my it. transition. I've done it. That was a transition. You guys really want to get him lunch? I don't even know where 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 does a girl go from here? Okay, Dan. Yeah, blame uh, me. I didn't tell say me anything. this. What's a successful season for Rodgers and the Jets? You want me to start? No, Dan. Yes. I was, I'm just on this camera, so oh, okay. I'm looking at it. Danny, this go ahead. Super like Bowl. throwing you guys off. I was just trying to the, follow the, the camera. Super Bowl. Super Bowl. That, that is a, a, a Super Bowl appearance. And I know the AFC is loaded. I, I'm completely aware of all that. But this is a roster that is good enough. And I asked this question this morning. Give me the one known flaw for the New York Jets football team. They don't have one. That there is an obvious glaring thing that – they're going to have to somehow overcome a not good enough defensive line or not good enough coverage unit or not good enough skill position people or they can't run the football or they're not well coached or they don't have a quarterback. They finally do. They, and, I, and I honestly believe this. Kansas City's the king of the castle. You have to go beat Kansas City. Cincinnati b- belongs in the conversation of teams that are capable. I got to see what happens at right tackle with them and their, their two new safeties. The two teams – that are most equipped, best suited to go knock off Kansas City, won the Buffalo Bills, to the New York Jets. To do it, you have to go get after the quarterback. The Jets have waves to go do that. I understand it's the Jets. The expectation is they are good enough, and they finally have a quarterback that can get them to the Super Bowl. That is their ceiling, and candidly, that's their floor. They belong there, and they should get there. Oh, my gosh. Dan, they haven't made the playoffs in two decades. Now, all of a sudden, we're going to get win the division and beat Mahomes, Allen, and Burrow and get to a Super Bowl? Let's take it easy a little bit. How about making the playoffs and winning a game? I mean, before you sit there and say, well, they're going to walk into Cincinnati and Kansas City in January and win two playoff games, can we take it easy? The quarterback is 38. The coach, by the way, hasn't won anything in his career. Mm -hmm. Let's not forget that. And that includes the Super Bowl when Mahomes killed him in the fourth quarter. And I like Salah, too, but he hasn't won anything. They finished the season last year, the six-game losing streak. He's not Weeb Eubank. Look him up, Steve. He's not Weeb Eubank. Eubank. Let's not spend time on that. So, from that standpoint, to sit there and say a team that hasn't made the playoffs in two decades, that finished the season last year, the six-game losing streak, that's got Buffalo, Kansas City, and Cincinnati in the conference, and I got a 38-year-old quarterback coming off a so-so year. Well, you know what? It's Super Bowl bust. That's a little strong. Right. Can fair. I add two more That's points to that? Experience yep. and yep. chemistry. Yep. Okay, carry on. Go ahead, Stephen A. I'll let you respond, and then I'll go smash Doggy's points. No, you're not going to smash Doggy because you're wrong, Dan Olofsky. Here's the point. Patrick Mahomes yep. on several occasions has been called the Michael Jordan of football. Yeah. You know, so let me – you know, because I, I know you think you can ball. So let, let's understand something. And I know you know a little bit of basketball. So let's, let's, let's analyze that yes, for sir. a second. Reggie Miller doesn't have a title. Uh, Patrick Ewing doesn't have a title. Charles Barkley doesn't have a title. 
Sean Kemp, before he became Sean Clump, doesn't have a title. Gary Payton didn't have a title while he was in Seattle, okay, because he ran the Jordan. Carl Malone doesn't have a title. John Stockton doesn't have a title. Why? Because of Michael Jordan. Yeah. When you have that kind of figure that is standing in your path, that's the excuse that you have in terms of avoiding being a quote-unquote bust. Because there's a special generational talent that comes along, obviously once in a generation, and that is the standard bearer, and getting past that person is basically what it's all about. If you're talking about the New York Jets and what will qualify as a successful season, I'd say going as far as you can go before you run into Patrick Mahomes. This is the best thing that I could tell you about Aaron Rodgers. He has an excuse to lose to no one else. No one else but Patrick Mahomes. Drew Bees is retired. Tom Brady is retired, okay? You know what? He's a few years, a couple of years away from that, or maybe just one year, depending on what you're listening to about Aaron Rodgers. He's got a crew. Their defense is big time. You got Garrett Wilson. You picked up Lazard. Brees Hall's coming back. You got some weapons. Buffalo is still formidable. We get all of that. But they ain't been the same since Brian Dable left for the Giants job. Okay, we got that going on. Tua, I don't believe he's going to stay healthy. Me personally, I'm very, very worried. All I'm praying for Tua is that he stays healthy so Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle can show their stuff because we know what kind of chemistry they have. Joe Burrow with Jamar Chase and T. Higgins and Boyd and Mixon and those boys. They in Cincinnati. You got Lamar Jackson. He's got Odell Beckham Jr. now. Bateman now. Not Ava DuVernay. Devin DuVernay. Not we Ava. know the AFC got is Devin. loaded. We got we, all we of know this. The AFC is loaded and still. What I would say to you is that there is no excuse. There's no excuse to lose to Lamar Jackson. There's no excuse to lose to Joe Burrow. There's no excuse to lose to Josh Allen. There's no excuse to lose to Justin Herbert. There's no excuse to lose to Russell Wilson or any of those guys. But they, it's understandable if he runs into Patrick Mahomes and gets knocked off. Uh, as okay. long as it, if that's the case, I got to let it go. Matt Dog, you make the point that they haven't won the division in two decades. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers had gone 13 straight years without going to the playoffs until Tom Brady got there, won the Super Bowl. Why? Because they were a good football team that had a talented roster that had subpar, consistent quarterback play. The Jets are finally going to get high-end quarterback play. You talk about them losing their final six last year. So this was a playoff football team last year. Just to put into context for everybody how bad the quarterback play was last year, the team uh. last year in New York was 6-2 and two as a football team when the offense scored more than one touchdown. 6-2. and two. They had five games last year when they didn't score a touchdown on offense. That's unheard of. In their 10 losses, they were 7-10. and 10. They scored seven offensive touchdowns in 10 losses. If you guys sit here and think that Aaron Rodgers is not going to get them one more touchdown a game with Aaron Rodgers... Nathaniel Hackett in a top five offense, at worst, at worst, top five defense, this is 11 wins. At worst, and you're more than likely looking at 12 or 13. There, where's the flaw of this roster? I'll ask again. Where's the flaw of this football team in comparison to a Buffalo or Cincinnati? Uh, hold, 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 or, uh, may I answer that? Together. May I answer that? You just want to talk or can I answer that question? Go ahead. Um, we'll answer I'm, it. I'm, 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 I'm not sold on Alan Lazard. I know he's not a scrub. But I'm not sold on them. And, and Randall Cobb, excuse me, Randall Cobb being their familiar targets. I'm not sold. Sold I'm on not what? sold. It's, excuse Lazar me. Being you a asked the question. Two receiver? You, did, you asked the question, didn't you? You said you asked the question. And I'm asking you, you said, again. What you, do you, what you, do you said not sold on? I'm just telling you right now. When I think about Chase and Higgins and Boyd, I think that's an upgrade. When I think about it's not it, seven, when I think seven, of, Stephen it, A. It's, it's, no, I'm not. Listen, you asked the question. I'm giving you an answer, my brother. You act like every spot on the New York Jets is big time. I'm saying no. I'm saying no. I mean, did I stutter? The fact of the matter is they got some stuff to prove. Last time I saw Green Bay, they were losing to Detroit in the season finale. Last time I saw Cobb and Lazard in a playoff game, they lost to San Francisco and couldn't even put up more than 10 points. Don't it's sit up here and act like I'm talking out of my you-know-what. You know what the hell I'm saying. The teams. fact of the matter is it's still a question mark. It's still a question mark. I'm just, that's all I'm saying. Are you look at some other teams, it? they loaded offensively more so than the, than the Jets are. That's all I'm saying. Because, but that's not beyond teams, the pale. While, but Stephen A., while Cincinnati is more um, equipped on the skill position, they don't have the defense 
that the, the, the New York Jets do. They don't have the front seven that the were New York Jets do. Were they in the do. AFC they Championship game last year? Were they in yes. the AFC Championship game yes. last year? Yes. I'm do just saying, have, is, is Cincinnati not a threat? Set? Is Cincinnati they, not a threat? Who said they weren't? Who implied I'm not saying, that they weren't? I'm only saying I'm addressing a question you asked. You said, show me the Jets' weakness. I said, yo, I can see a few things. They ain't, but they ain't all that. I mean, come on now. Garrett Where? Wilson. Garrett Wilson. You said Allen, you're not sold on Allen Lazard uh, being a listen, number two listen. receiver that he's been for three years? You love Excuse that offensive me. line, Dan? Just because he's one very, doesn't I think mean I'm very sold capable. on him. If that offensive line stays healthy, yeah, well, very if, capable. Uh, Beckton's but, always hurt. But Mad you Dog, love that offensive but Mad Dog, line I can under say a quarterback that, who's 40 years old? I could say that about everybody but Kansas City. Miami, if the offensive line takes a step forward. Buffalo, if the offensive line plays better football. Cincinnati, we don't know who's playing Matt, right tackle. Are you sure? Matt, you know, last question, year at this time, Stevie, expert. I'm with you. Uh, I'm with you, Stevie. Let me just say this because I'm with sure. you. Last year, everybody thought that Denver was getting a home run with Russell Wilson. Yes, sir. Turned out to be a complete bust. Rodgers was not as good last year. He was not as good. I agree. All right? He's 38 years of age. Right. We are, we, we're, we're convinced that we're going to see vintage Aaron Rodgers. Is he Rogers? still elite? You th- is oh, he God, still, yeah. He's up there with, I, with the pa- – like, give me, give me kind I, of no, a he's category. Not, he's, he, top I don't, three? Uh, top three in the league. Uh, no, not on a consistent basis, but through a four-game stretch. Like, I remember, remember when the Rams were going on their Super Bowl run, I was like, the Rams need Matthew Stafford's four best games ever. They got it. And the Jets are going to need that from Aaron in the playoffs. And to, I've heard Stephen A. say this. Mad Dog may have. He hasn't done it in the playoffs here recently. I don't think he's going to be asked to do as much. I, I understand that everyone continues to point to, like, Aaron wasn't himself last year. But we can't just make that a blanket statement. That's not fair to the player. He had a broken thumb. It, he had... Uh, rookie receivers that both missed at <sighs> least four games. Cobb missed yeah. four games. Driving me he nuts. had a tight end. But those are facts. You're driving me nuts because you're not you're not you're not listening to the the narrative you created. You're ignoring that. You asked you asked the question. You asked the question. You said we were talking about what makes for a successful season. You're the one that brought up. Hey, well, tell me where the Jets' weakness is. I see a guy in Alan Lazard that's never had a thousand yard season. I see a guy in Randall Cobb that's been in the league. Can I speak? I see a guy in the NFL in Randall Cobb that's been in the league for 12 years, got 1,000 yard season. I brought up what happened at, San, at the Lambeau Field against San Francisco. I brought up what happened in the season finale at Lambeau. Field. I mean, yeah. my God, all I'm trying to say is, I this, this is that bad, man. We know how I feel about Aaron Rodgers. The yeah. brother's big time, and we know how great he is and all of that stuff. Garrett Wilson, let me throw this at you. He's a stud. He's the offensive rookie of the year. But when no one saw you coming, and you perform like that, even though the upside is that you got Aaron Rodgers throwing you the football right now, what about the downside that you're no longer a surprise to anybody and now people are going to key on you the way in a way that they may not have had to before? Mm. How about the fact that Zach Wilson stunk so badly you, he should be arrested for being in New York, for crying out loud, because he should be exiled from the barriers of New York, from the, from the parameters of New York City. He's that damn awful, okay? What about the fact that now that because you had him, no one was really worried about Garrett Wilson that much because uh, because – this dude couldn't throw the damn football to, to, to his wide receiver. And now we got a quarterback that can. There's a whole bunch of elements that come into play, not even to bring up the fact that you got competition out there. I'm giving you weapons in Buffalo, in Cincinnati, in Baltimore, in Kansas City, and you looking at me like I'm talking out of my you-know-what. Come on, man. They got something Steven, to prove. You the one that asked the question. Hey, it's what, not you, what seven weakness does the Jets seven. have? Three elite Wide receivers. He wasn't asked to go be a thousand yard guy. I know that. Yeah, Al, so, but, but, but Stephen but, A., this is an offense that's going to have to score 20 points a game to win 11 or 12 games. And that's going to be easy for them. And we, we do, saw them. You're and we the saw signs. them be, is it the signs not be able to put up the synchronicity that Aaron Rodgers was talking about. Synchronicity, all, Stephen A. All the signs we are do pointing this, that it's We do them. this all the time with great athletes, though. We all of a sudden think they're going to stink because they have a rough patch. We did it with I didn't Tiger. Say nobody he said that. You see, there you go again. No one said that. He's, he's no one said point that. guard, not he, – he, like, he's not playing – Molly, can I say something? Yeah, Ma- Molly, just let me follow say the something. signs. Yes. Let me, uh, seriously, I'm dead serious about I'm this. I'm serious, too. I'm warning every contributor on this show from this day forward. I'm tired of all y'all damn dear Abbeys running around. 
It's starting to get on my nerves. Oh, we think that everybody is going to suddenly stink. No one said that. No one said. We know how great Aaron Rodgers is. We're just talking about the greatness other people have, too. And all of these narratives that folks try to come on this show and create. Oh, my Lord, we're being insensitive or we're crucifying people or whatever. When we're giving analysis, I'm telling, I'm warning everybody. Oh. I'm warning, We're going to get rid of the dear Special Abby showing advisory. up on this damn show. Okay. We're going to get rid go. of them. Uh. I'll wrap it up by saying this. Our analytics give them the fourth best odds to win the Super Bowl. I was and the, the, the fourth best odds? Yeah, I got it. Be careful, right Molly. One be careful, Who's Molly. Who's the same guy right that here. preaches how good of a player Anthony Davis be, be, is all be the time? Be careful, Molly. 17-year-old kids, how could they be the fourth best? Where are the Eagles? Because they're talented. Where are the Eagles? Uh, well, it's a little misleading. Be careful, Molly. It's the AFC. You just gave out statistical oh, well, facts, Molly. Yeah, well, you got to tell me that. So in the, they're the fourth best in the AFC. Yeah, that's about oh. right. Weird. Yeah, Kansas City, right. Buffalo, Cincinnati, and then New York. Yeah, that, that, and then yeah. Lamar careful, Jackson Molly. and Baltimore is next. Yeah, that, that's fair. I don't have a problem with that. So you're asking a team that is fourth when you think about the teams that in the AFC, fourth. Yeah. You're saying that they have to get to a Super Bowl to have a successful season. That's a little strong. Because I yeah. think they're capable. Well, of capable is one thing, but things have to I go have right. I have to say, Sam has been right. I know this isn't an underdog team about some underdog teams before. He has proved us wrong when, by the, when way, the season by, starts. By the way, by the way, what? in Brees Hall, Why in Brees Hall the Jets yeah. have a running game now. That's going to help Aaron Rodgers as well. But be careful with the numbers that you threw out, Molly, because you know what? You might be considered being a bit insensitive to the greatness of certain athletes. I mean, my God, we can't do that, Molly. We have to be careful. Oh. Man, you preface every right, comment you make about Anthony Davis. He's a great Please. player. Let's but go. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.